guys, it's Holly, and today we're going to be doing some doll Halloween things. Basically, I have bought some Sylvanian families items from Japan. They're also known as Calico Critters here in the U.S. Um, but I got some Halloween stuff, so I'm going to see if it fits on my Q Posh um, doll. And then I also have some Monster High outfits that I got from Hot Couture um, that I'm going to try out on my Monster High dolls. So I'm really, really excited, but let's go ahead and get started. I first saw this set and freaked out um, because it has this cute little pumpkin cart and then it has some little buckets and some little like candies and I'm pretty sure that these are going to work really well with my Q-Posh. I don't think the outfits are going to fit at all um, but we're going to try it out and just see what happens. I did get these both from eBay and I will try to find them and link them below. Okay so this is everything that the kit comes with. There is this adorable pumpkin wagon that is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. I do wish that the wheels worked, but that's just me being nitpicky. So there's some room in there. I'm thinking the Q-Posh can sit in there pretty well, but we're gonna see here in a second. Then you get your two little cute, um, I keep wanting to call them calico critters because that's what they're called here, but there's a really cute little hat that fits on her ear. And then this little ghost outfit, which I don't think is gonna fit the cute posh at all but it's still really really cute I don't think the dress is gonna fit either I did these are both really really cute and they go in their little their little thing then you get these little buckets which I'm really really excited about they're super adorable there's a little ghost one I do wish that the pumpkin had a jack-o-lantern face on it I don't know why it doesn't but it's still really cute and then there are these four little candies little lollipops I guess pumpkin, a moon, a witch hat, and a ghost. And those can go in the little buckets. Super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and open the other set now and then we'll see how it works with the cute posh. So just for kicks, I decided to try the little um, girl's dress on the cute posh. And although it is a little bit ill-fitting on top because it's so wide, it actually fits relatively decently. I mean, I think it could pass as a Maybe like a slight over the shoulder type of top. The top's a little bit big, but for the most part, it actually fits pretty well. And I'm really surprised because it looks so tiny, but Kuposhes have a really, really tiny little body. So I'm really excited to see um, if I can get some other little dresses that maybe have better tops that aren't so wide or don't look as wide, but I'm actually pretty excited about that. Okay, so here are our two little creatures, a cat and a bunny, and they do look really, really super adorable, but I'm going to make them make it now because I want to see if this dress fits the cute posh. I really hope it works. Okay, so here's the cute posh, and I really want this to work. Okay, so it's definitely a little bit big. But I think for the most part, it's working pretty well. Let me see if I can mess with it a little bit and see if I can get it to work. Oh my gosh, I got it to work and I think it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited now that I know that I can use these dresses on Couposh because they're so pretty and I'm just really, really happy. So what I had to do was the top was way too big so I basically just used some hot glue and I basically folded it over so you can see right here I had put some glue on the back of the velcro the top velcro and I just folded it and that made it close enough it made it tight enough to where her top now isn't way too big the dress I mean it is still a little bit big but for the most part I think it fits really well and I'm really, really happy with it. This is just a little like scrapbook bow. It has like a little adhesive thing that I just stuck on because these little bows that came with the um, the kit, I don't think will really like work because it has like an elastic band, but I don't know where to put it. I don't think it's big enough to go over her whole head. So we'll just leave it at that. But so cute, I'm so happy with that. I went ahead and did the other one as well. And I'm so, so happy with it. Now, this dress is different because this one has 
actual fabric for the straps as opposed to this one which just has little black strings. So what I had to do is I ended up just gluing the entire back together using the same kind of thing where I folded it over. Um, so now you can't un velcro it, but you can pull it off over her head, which is fine with me because this isn't really practical use. It's more for just how it looks. So I'm okay with that totally, but I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. I put the purple hair on this one and I think it looks really, really adorable. So now let's see how they work with the wagon. So here's the little wagon. It actually fits pretty perfectly. She can't really do much in it, and she's kind of not weighted down at all. So she'll sit in there pretty well. I need to weight her legs down because her head's making her fall backward, but she'll definitely sit in there, so that's really, really adorable. Oh my gosh, that is so stinking adorable. I can't even right now. I'm just so happy that this all worked and fit. I think it could not be more cute and I'm so happy with everything. So that is the cute posh part of this video. Now let's go on to the Monster High doll part. So next I got these Monster High dresses and these are from Haunt Couture, which is an Etsy store that I absolutely love. I love all of their Monster High doll clothes. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they make them for each doll so based on the coloring and this the actual character that the doll is they make these clothes and I think they're absolutely wonderful I have um, a bunch of videos already on the store's clothes but today I got a Halloween outfit and then some other outfits they've been making dresses with lace lately and I absolutely love lacy things so I was really excited so the first dress is this one which is absolutely gorgeous. I guess it could kind of be slightly Halloween-ish because it's kind of maybe a little bit vintage-y and like I guess it could, I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird, but I really like the contrast of the black details on the pink lace. I think it's really, really pretty and then there's some beading details up here. So there's like a little skinny dress underneath and then it has this really pretty lacy overskirt and then there's some glittery pink tulle under here so that's the first dress which is absolutely beautiful then i got this similar dress but it's black and this could actually be kind of halloween as well but it's two pieces i just realized i think the other one's two pieces too so there's like a mini skirt and then this can clip off so you're really getting two outfits in one a lot of their outfits are like that which i really like so you can add the skirt afterwards so that's really cool this dress has really pretty flowers on it the same type of beading um, around the top and then the skirt which is just so pretty I love the lace I just think it's really really gorgeous then lastly they have some really really cute Halloween outfits right now I decided to get this one um, because I just thought it was really cute um, but this one is actually glow-in-the-dark so this fabric with the bats is supposed to be glow in the dark so i really want to get it on a doll and try it out so let me go put all of these outfits on some dolls oh my gosh they look so so pretty i'm so excited just as a side note this one is a custom painted doll that i bought i didn't do the face but the face is beautiful but i'm absolutely loving these looks especially the pink on honey swamp because she has the pink motif usually um so i really like the pink on her skin and i think that this look looks really cute on frankie the only problem that i have is that the skirt doesn't go all the way around so it doesn't really cover her butt so that would be my main issue with this one but i think it looks really cute from the front and honestly i'm not really going to be looking at the back so it's not a huge deal but it is kind of annoying and there's also a lot of stray strings but this one is the one that glows in the dark so we'll test that here in a second but i absolutely love this one especially on honey swamp because 
she already came with this little pearl bracelet which kind of matches the pearls here and she has like the pearl earrings so it's very dainty and feminine and I just really love it on her a lot you can see her skirt is rotten up I'm not really sure why these don't go all the way around very well but there so pretty and then I just put this dress on Gigi because I didn't know who else to put it on but I think it looks really really cute it's a very short little cute lace dress so now I'm gonna test the glow-in-the-dark part of it because I think that's really cool it's kind of hard to tell that they're bats in the dark but it definitely is glowing and it looks a lot better in real life than it does on camera but that's what it looks like in the dark so that's it for this video this holly's dollies i'm really really excited about all of the new things that i got again um i got the sylvanian family's stuff from ebay and i got all of these outfits from haunt couture atelier which i will put the links down below in the description thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye Thank you.